let's talk about making a stencil out of something other than vinyl, which is what you normally see people make stencils out of. So let's talk about creating this stencil. So what you'll want to do first is you'll need some freezer paper. Once you get the freezer paper, you'll unroll it. You'll cut this out into sheets that fit into your printer. You're gonna run the side that feels more like paper and not, as you can see, this side's glossy. This side, you do not want the ink on. So you'll be running it through the printer on the non-glossy side. The glossy side is actually what irons onto the fabric like this. So you'll want your printout right on this. And I've already done that, so here's this. And as you can tell, I've already started doing a couple different things with it. Um, so once you print it out, you're gonna take an iron, and I like to take just the tip, and I do turn it up to about cotton on mine. It doesn't take a whole lot, and then you would just iron these seams together on an ironing board. This is my ironing board over here. Um, and so you would just align everything and then iron all those seams. That way it's all one piece. I didn't do it in this one and after starting to cut stuff out and then trying to piece it back together, it would have been so much easier to just start with that. So that's what I'm telling you, don't do like me. Start by ironing the seams together. There are pieces that you'll probably have to save, like these little ones, as you can tell. Um, they're just the middle pieces and so I label them where they're supposed to be and then when I go to iron this onto the fabric I can just place them where they need to be. So I have a couple pieces over here on those and I have examples of where they need to go. So and then once you have it all ironed together you'll take your X-Acto knife and you'll just cut it out. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I gonna finish cutting it out. There's a couple more things that I would like to do. Um, I think I'll take a hole punch and kind of punch a couple dots here and there just to give it more of a design like snow's falling. Um, but I will have a couple more pieces like this one right here and this one and that little part of the E that I'll have to save for later. So let's get to work on cutting this out. Okay, so now that you have your own stencil out of freezer paper, I'm gonna show you how to iron it on. I have my iron and I'm gonna set it to almost the cotton setting. Leave it right there. And I'm gonna put, this is just cardstock and I have it taped together and the tape side I'm gonna put it down so that um, it doesn't this is so that when you go to uh, use your paint on your stencil, it doesn't get everywhere. So I'm gonna hurry and stick this inside here. Okay, so I have my cardboard inside. Card stock, I guess. Okay, so I'm back to the front of this. I'm gonna take my stencil and place it onto this. And I have already cut it, so this is a square stencil, so it makes it easier as I'm aligning it onto this. So now that I have it on here, I'm just gonna take my iron and start pressing. And if you can tell, that's all it really took to get it to stay. So it's just like a quick press and it stays. See, flapping on this side, I can kind of get the corner up. Now I can't because I ironed it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just 
make sure that all your points are down because you will not want that to iron onto your actual iron. Sorry, this is really hard to see now because it's white on white. Just go back through, make sure it's completely ironed on, and then I'm going to put on this guy, for example. So, like on this one. I need to insert this little part, this part of the S. So that would be right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that little piece that I had saved, make sure again the iron side, the glossy side is going down. And just place it where it looks good to you. And then iron it. So my S is done, I'm gonna do this for my O and this section up here. And then once I'm done, I'll be ready to paint it. I'm gonna paint this stencil now that it's on. I'm using an outdoor acrylic paint. Now I'm just gonna dab it on to the stencil. Again, I have that backing so that it doesn't go through the other side of it. So now I'm just gonna let it dry and then I'll come back and peel off my stencil. The paint's now dry, so I'm gonna hurry and remove the stencil and see how it looks. There is a little bit of a bleed through on it, but I think it actually makes it look nice. So here it is. Let's see if you can see some of that bleed through. 